There we go. We're live. Hello, ho, ho. welcome everybody to the the inaugural show of the so far unnamed vape show. Um with Someone's got them. Yeah, your Ricky someone's got their fucking cast on. <laughs> Me, my ass. My fault, sorry. Fuck fucking up. amateurs, man. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, start again. Thanks for joining us, guys, for the our very first show um, with um, the wonderful White Walker, Mr. Mike's Mex, and look who we've dragged out of retirement, Zan the Man. How we doing, fellas? Aye, um, all right, not bad. Good, 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 good. Yeah, all good, mate, all good. Uh, you, do oh, you doing all right? Yeah, fucking melting in this heat, actually. It's uh, it's pretty right. warm. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking terrible, to be perfectly honest. Hello, White Walkers and Southern weather don't mix. No, you melt. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's the same as Scots, north, north of the border. It's We're not used to it. Hello. To honest. I think deep down I should have been a Scot. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Yep. How is everyone in chat? Yeah, first of all, this is... We weren't actually supposed to be going live till next week, but things just kind of got a little bit of a turn last night as Mike's working next weekend. So we thought, you know what, bugger it. Just let's go live today. And that's it, it's done. We've, we've got the first show under our belt. But um, guys, this is just, it's basically just an introduction again, just to say we're here. Um, and this will be, again, every two weeks, we'll be having a little hour on a Sunday afternoon, just basically chatting the shit and just generally chilling out. Yep. Um, anything you guys in chat want to talk about, just pop it up and we'll just take it for there and we'll just let, we'll just run with anything that you've got, you know what I mean? Um, because we don't, there's not really going to be much of a structure to the show, it's just a case of just sitting here, three guys talking shit, basically. And hopefully you guys in chat will pop in every now and again and just give us... Give us a little bit of direction where you want to go with the show and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, and what I, what I will do is I will still carry on with the uh, the DIY stuff that I started. Um, we'll, we'll maybe progress a little bit with that because I know Mike was wanting to um, go through the start of a recipe, how to make up a bottle of juice from start to finish. So Mike and I will do that live uh, on the show one weekend that we're doing it. Yep. Uh, um, and it's just, again, just to give you guys out there a heads up on basically how easy it is to make your own DIY juice. Um, yeah, so... We'll yep. just I've got all the basic stuff here now. I'm just waiting on the uh, liquids to arrive now. See, I'd, 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 I'd tried to dabble in it a few years back and bought all the stuff. It lasted all of a fucking month before I decided, nah, fuck that. <laughs> I'm far too lazy to make more juice, I'll just buy the fucker. You've got Stevie. Yeah, we got Stevie. Got Stevie yeah. yeah, you've got you've got Stevie for juice, mate, and I've got a Zan for computer problems. <laughs> yeah. my, my dabbling in uh, mixing didn't end well. I ended up losing parts of the mixing equipment in the liquid. Oh, geez, oh. So, no, I mean, there is, there is, it is something a lot of people have tried in the past and they, they just, for some reason, just can't get to grips with it. Mm -hmm. um, but as, 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 I said, as, I, as I've said before, I mean, I, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, especially when you go, when you start to make a, a recipe from scratch and you're starting from, you know, your, your basic mix and then you're adding bits to it, taking bits out, adding something else to you, get that flavour bang on. But, yeah, no, it's, I find it good fun. I, I find it quite relaxing, actually. Well, when I, I think it relaxing now, the very first time I did it, I was like, I just can't get a hold of this. I just can't get, I just can't grasp this at all. And it was fucking just flying. Yeah, that, that was like me when I first uh, 
try to dabble in it and stuff like that. You didn't have anything like the boss shots or the, the ready-made concentrates where all you had to do was put your PG, your VG and your Nick in. So you had to put all the individual fucking flavours in and I, it's just I couldn't get a, a grasp of it and stuff like that. And then boss shots came out with their, their bottles and stuff and that was that was a lot better because I just buy that bought it already made and all all i had to do was add th- three other things into it yeah. yeah yeah so yeah no, i mean i think that i think that's a great way the likes of the boss shots the the, the, before, the profit shots that kind of stuff your ready made concentrates are already there for you it takes that difficult element out of it mm. if you want to put up with that and um yeah, I mean, as, as, as always say, for anybody who's wanting to try it for the very, very first time, it's just a case of make things simple for yourself. Don't go too in-depth. I did it. I went, I went through the likes of Chef's Flavour stuff, um, even did it through e- eBay and, and, and Amazon. I was buying concentrates because I liked the sound of them. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a case I was buying concentrates because I could actually make something with them. It was a case of I was buying stuff and think to myself, I really like the sound of that, so it'll sit on a shelf then when it, you know, then when, it, when I did get it, I looked at it and I put it in EL, ELR. It wasn't a great deal I could actually make with what I had. I maybe, I maybe, maybe had say about 30, 40 different fucking flavored creams, and I couldn't make bugger all. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's 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 a, it's a good way to do it with the, the likes of the bottle shots. Everything's already there. You've, you've got a pre-made concentrate ready to go. So yeah, as I mean, we'll, we'll start with that kind of thing again, and um, we'll take it from there. Um, and I'll go through the lights, ELR and how to use ELR, things like that. Obviously, with the group, the, the, the now the, the so far unnamed vape group, um, I will put in the links again to where I buy my stuff from, um, all the equipment that I use, the, the scales, the pipettes, the syringes, the bottles, all that kind of thing. And if, as I say, if anybody wants to, well, if anybody wants to give it a, a go, just if I can help you out in any way, just, just just give me a shout. I mean, I know Darren's in Brew, Brew's in chat, Brew always, Brew's good, good with uh, DIY stuff as well. And if we can help anybody out, by all means, just send me a message, it's no problem. I'll point, you, I'll point you in the right direction, because I really didn't have anybody to point me in that direction when I started out doing the DIY stuff. Uh, hence the reason I ended up buying a load of shit that I can use. Yep. But... I have learned my lesson now, so yeah, we'll see how it goes with that. Yeah, so I mean, my, my favourite flavours have always been the slush flavours. Right. I, I can't get enough of the different slushes. Well, I've got one. I don't even know where my recipe book is. I've got a blue raspberry slush recipe in my book. What I'll maybe do is I'll maybe send you that recipe, Mike, and. Yeah. Um, they can make up the, if you buy the concentrates, the two years can sit and make it live. Sounds good to me. Sunday we do the show. Sounds good to me. Because if I can make juice, anyone can make juice. Yeah. I mean, as, as Dan said, they're all DIYers also have their wee tips and tricks that can help out, yeah? Mm-hmm. They do. Yeah. So, I mean, the thing that I'm contemplating doing, I think I said it to you uh, yesterday or something, I'm still contemplating just sticking with Nick shots rather than buying a big bottle of... 72 milligram, milligram or whatever it is. Yeah. Just make it easier for me because to work out up there. Yeah. Because I know if I'm making a 100 mil bottle of juice for myself, all I've got to do is add two nick shots and that's it done. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. And um, then it, it also... That, that and maths don't work for me properly. Yeah, I know that feeling myself. I've got to take my socks and shoes off to count to 20. <laughs> So oh, yeah, also I'd just like to say welcome everyone in chat. Yeah, thanks for joining us again, guys. Yep. Yeah, we really, we really do appreciate it. Um, as I said before, it's just it's this is just a we start out show just to get, get our feet yet again. Um, yep. As I say, we've, we've Zan's kind of you fucker. I've just noticed it again. What? Well, when the two years come on here earlier on, the two years were wearing the same fucking t-shirts. So I said, I'm going to go and change my t-shirt. My bastards have done it again. (coughs) (laughs) 
I was wondering how long it would take you fucking notice. I, don't, I, just, I, just, I just glanced at my screen and went, wait a minute, something's not right with this picture because he was wearing his Zan R7 t-shirt about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> fucking hell. I deliberately went and changed it. That's why, I was hide- that's why I was sitting like this, hiding in my t-shirt because I was just going to sit back and see how long it took you to see. Fuck's sake, you try to fucking <laughs> shit out of me now. I'll do a couple of shout outs from chatty, see who's here we've got, see who's joined us for today. We have Mike's Mex, Manic, Andrew Henderson, Jules, Manic, uh, Ronnie Campbell, Sainte, Vaping with TC, hi all. Uh, we also have Bill Richards, Brew, um, McCann, Double X72. Uh, who else have we got? Jillian McIntyre. Hi, Jillian. Um, Gav Evans. Hi, Gav. Village. Hello, John. Um, Emily. Hi, Em. Uh, Liz. Hello, Liz. That's about us, I think. Oi. Oh, a gaily bop. Sorry. <laughs> and Michelle, my title of views. Nathan Evans. I'm getting down to the bottom now. Hey, Michelle. Manic Stereo again, and Bob Stipe. How are you doing, everybody? Uh, you can tell my hat are in as well. Yeah. Yeah, thanks very much for joining us, guys. Um, uh, I'd just like to say, I uh, hope you're feeling better now, Michelle. Right, this is all right. Uh, back trouble. Oh. My bike yes. has killed me all day yesterday. Yes, I know that well. Yep. Unfortunately, my mum's gone down with it uh, the last couple of days as well. So, yeah. Trying to look after a uh, crippled 82-year-old. Not good. Nah. I mean, I know what it's like when my back goes. That's painful enough. Yeah. So, but touch wood, mine ain't gone for a long time. Not properly. Afternoon, Neil. Afternoon, guys. How are we doing? Yeah, as as, as, you've, as you've noticed, guys, we haven't done a buffet, so we, we, we did get shouted at yesterday. Didn't we, Zan? For what? <laughs> when we said, we'll do the, what we're vaping on. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> A tank and a mod. There you go. <laughs> that, that's it. That's that's how simple it is for Zans. A tank and a mod. Yep. There uh, you go. You might as well fucking do it. Okay. Fair enough. You want me to go? Um, yeah. You go. Fair enough. I've got the Asmodus 3 with the Mesh Pro. In that, I've got Elements Watermelon Chill. Uh, then I'm on the No Fucking Hot Blue... Uh, Jay's called it the Bob Box, but it, obviously it's all black. Did you get one of them? I didn't know you got one of them. Yeah. But, there you go. Mm. Didn't know you bought one of them. Yeah. Yeah, it's just I didn't get the uh, touch of brass one that he does. I wanted mine all black. Mm, I like that. That's nice, the black one. Yeah. So, and I've got the uh, Zeus X on that with... The uh, Enigma, which really is a fucking Enigma because I cannot work out what the fuck is in it. And then I've got the, uh, what's it called? The Unnamed Nameless Mod. I like that. With the, what's the RDA called? Fuck does. I know fuck uh, all about Vatum. It's the new, oh, XR. It's got it printed on there. <laughs> XR RDA from Armageddon. And in that one, I've got Solomero. That, that's nice. That is fucking nice. I can't get enough of that stuff. I've only got one bottle left, Stevie. Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, I, I, Gail, it's all your fault because you were telling everybody. Well, yeah. <laughs> that's all uh, I've got at the moment. All right, a quick run through of mine then. Um, I've got the, the IPV. Squonker. Um, still not. 
I've had a few dry hits from this, to be honest. Um, and I've found that the the pump every now and again will over squonk on it. But apart from that, what, I like. What, I really do like it. What coil you got in that? Uh, I've got the mouth to lung coil on it. Well, uh, Gail was having the same sort of problem with it, and she switched it out for the was it the point three? Point and she three. says it's a lot, lot better. Yeah, yeah. I'm maybe I'm maybe do that later on actually. But no, I mean, it's 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 a great little device. I must admit, um, very very pocket friendly. Yeah, uh, that that's something else we can come on to uh, later on. Um, I don't know if you've seen a little thing it was on Facebook, but give me a couple of minutes and I'll go into that. Uh, I'm also on the. Make life artless uh, with the uh, drop dead on top. I fucking love this mech. I like it. It's, it's, a, it's a good mod. Yeah, it is really really nice. Nice, comfortable in the hand. Yeah. I like I like the 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 knurled part of it. I like the grip. It, it, you feel as if you're holding something, and you you've not you know it's not going to slip out the crook of your, you know the crook mm. of your thumb yeah. you know, I must admit I really do like that I like that oh sorry in the, in the IPV I've got Kinky Vapors um, Tingly Lemon Shared but in Spanking Strawberries in the Drop Dead I have EVC Dead Man's Arm and I'm running it um, also I'm on the the drag with the Kelpie on top and inside that I have an Offy Cookie Dough that's a a one shot concentrate from Chef's Flavors. That's really, really nice. And last but not least, I am on the is it the slide from Anakin on an old classic, the E Leaf Eye Stick 30. Um thoroughly enjoying this little tank. Although it's mouth to lung, it ain't. Mm, I don't do mouth to lung. I'm on, on, this, on, on, this, on the single hole there, and it's it's an airy draw, to be honest with you, but when you open it up, open it up to the three, you get a long hit from it. But it's good flavour from it, to be honest, really, really nice. I, I do like it, I must admit, I really do like it. Fair yeah. enough. Just what I was saying with the, regarding the that with being pocket friendly. I don't know if any of you guys have seen the the picture it was doing the rounds on Facebook this morning. No, about the the American lad whose mod went off in his pocket. Oh, I think I saw a picture of that like scar, black scars all down his leg or something. Yeah, yeah, I haven't read it yet. Yeah, I read, I read a little bit and I've got like fucking hell. Here we go again. Yeah, so I mean, it, it's it, it it takes why why does it take for what somebody being stupid for that to happen and then it's fucking plastered all over social media mm -hmm. oh, no. it, it's, it, it's getting fucking ridiculous it is getting fucking ridiculous I mean there's, there's, there's people out there who have accidents every day of the week but because it's vaping people just like to throw it up onto social media and give it a bad light it, it's, it's wrong it's really, it really is starting to fucking piss me off to be perfectly honest yeah and at the end of the day, 99% of it is down to fucking user error. Mm. Yep. I mean, I'm not being funny. The amount of emails I still get saying, can I put the likes of a smock tank on a mech? <laughs> really? No, it's fucking... <clears throat> anyway, um, <clears throat> fucking can't, can't... I don't believe you've made me do that. <laughs> do it, do it, Zan. Do it, do it, do it. Ages with the FP. Inside that, I've got Blue Elixir, Black Widow, bastards. <laughs> uh, double, double Barrel 2.1 with the Kelpie on top. And inside that, I've got EVC's Enigma, which is really nice. And that Black Widow is awesome as well. And that's fucking it. And you do know for the next show, Zan will be vaping the same shit. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, since fucking last year, you know, I've, the whole year I've been in retirement, I haven't done vape shows. I yep. didn't do vaping in a large, uh, publicly, do you know what I mean? I would go into the shows once or twice and say, hello, I've never done it because I fell out in love with it last year and that's why I fucking left. 
Yeah. Um, I didn't follow anything to do with vaping on fucking Facebook. I didn't see what new mods or whatever came out. I'd have to ask Gail if I heard someone talking about it or what juice or whatever. I just didn't f- fucking follow it. So I need to sort of stick my head back out the water and see what's there. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, it's, it's um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I can see it where, where you actually came from when, when you took that, that step away from it altogether. Because I think it just, with, with the way that the industry is going, it could be too saturated. Mm. I think, and you end up like, you're going for shiny to shiny to shiny to shiny to shiny. Yeah, which, and, I, which I was it, at the time, do you know what I mean? But yeah. the past year, I haven't, because I haven't had shinyitis, do you know what I mean? I've maybe got one or one or two things that I've sort of heard about and asked Gail about and went, oh, right, okay, I like the look of that. I'll, I'll mm-hmm. buy it, do you know what I mean? But yeah. apart from that, I don't been, I haven't been buying a lot of mods or whatever. I've actually sold a lot of my mods, a lot of my met mods and stuff like that. Gail's took a lot of the stuff off of me. Mm-hmm. So I've maybe got a couple of mechs left and maybe th- three mods and a, a couple, two tanks and a couple of drippers. That's all I've got left. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can understand that. I mean, I, I, I actually feel the same way, and I, and I, I really am. I'm getting to the stage now where I think I'm actually going to box quite a few of my mechs up and maybe put them up for sale as well. Because at the end of the day, how many, how many mods can you actually vape in a period of a day? Well, don't ask fucking Jules because she vapes about fucking 20. Mm. But that's a different story. But yeah, I mean, as, as long as you've got two or three, do you really need that amount? Especially just for the hobbies vapor. Mm. It's a different kettle of fish for likes of yourself, Mike, on the review side. I mean, obviously talk for likes of Jules and even for, for Gail now and the, and, the, and the girls from the bitches who are doing their online reviews and that kind of stuff. Um you're getting that you're getting stuff coming in. So you will you will have a collection of such. But for the likes of the normal hobbyist. Well, I'm not being funny, but when it comes to the mechs, every single mech I own I've I've purchased. Yeah. Every this- single mech. And I'm not even going to go into how much I've spent. Yeah. I'm not even going into that. Just Let's just say that my bank manager is fucking pissed with me. I'm not fucking surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I must admit, I was, I was getting that kind of way myself, to be honest with you. Um, and, it, and it didn't help when certain friends were sending you emails at fucking strange times of the day going... Look what somebody's just released. You need to get yourself one of these. You're like, oh, well, I, I quite like. And the fingers hovering over the buy now button. Yep. But, yeah. I just, like, uh, just over a week ago, I think it was no, two weeks ago. That's when I bought that. Right. Mm. Now I bought that before they put it on the sale page. Literally the day before. And let's just say the sale price is eighty-five pound cheaper, less than what I paid. Jesus. I, mean, I, I can. I, I mean, I can understand that. You know what I was like. I mean, I bought the Iona kit mm-hmm. that at the time. Cost me two hundred quid, and within the space of, I mean, that that, that was even before they were on general release. Mm-hmm. Um, I put in. Well, um, I bought. I bought one, uh, yep. and within the space of a couple of weeks, they were down to one hundred and fifty quid. Yep. And I wish to God I had hung off because, as you know, Mike the. The mod itself is absolutely stunning. Uh, it certainly is. But that RDA is just... Yeah. No. It, it's just not for me. It's It's got a fixed airflow control. So basically, it's just a cloud chucker. Yeah. And it whistles like a bloody kettle, to be honest with you as well. Yep. Um, I, I mean, I, I get where the designer's coming from yep. Where with the RDA, that if you leave the, the legs of the coil slightly longer and then you can position the coils where you want them in relation to the airflow. But that's the type of airflow control that he likes to vape himself. Yeah, yeah. I I can understand that. But for for me, that type of airflow is seriously lacking on the flavour side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I suppose it's like anything. I mean, if if you're you're designing something, you're designing it for your own preference. But I think think what people need to take into consideration is, yeah, What's what I like, it might not be what you like, it might not be what Zan likes, it might not be the guys in chat like. Yep. So you've, you've got to accommodate it for everybody. And I think that was, unfortunately, I mean, it, it is a beautiful looking mod. I mean, the, the kit itself looks absolutely stunning, but yep. I just I just cannot go in with that RDA at all. 
Yeah. It's back in the box. The, well, the RDA is in the box, but the... Yeah, same as me. The RDA is in the box. The mod's on the shelf up there at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, it means the same. But yeah, I mean, as it, it's going back to the, the shiny itis, the shiny itis can take over. You just need to ask, you just need to ask village. Yeah. Mm. Don't you, John? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, shiny, shiny itis is, is actually a real thing. It's not a mod he's not bought out there. Hey, I don't know. Let's ask him. John, is there a mod out there that you've not bought yet? Wait, you see, there's a bit of bloody list coming up now in the chat. Watch this. I'll get stupid. Yeah. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's still a couple of purges out there that I want. That I'll, I actually like. You know, like the Viper kit. I do like that one. So the only thing that puts me off buying that one is, again, it uses the Carnage RDA. And I'm not a fan of the Carnage RDA. Yeah. Mm, I had that. I thought, so, it, was, I thought it was all right. Uh, not it, me, me before, I bought it on the Enforcer. Yep. Um. It was all right. I wouldn't say it was great. Yeah, no, I must admit I didn't like the enforcer top cap for the can uh, for the carnage. Mm. Didn't get on with that at all. That's the one I bought for you, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, the uh, what's the other one I want? It oh, the slam paste. It was non non adjustable as well, if yeah. I remember correctly. Yeah, but no, I still want to get the slam paste. Yep. Yeah. That one. Focus your bugger. Yeah, that's that's the standard carnage top cap, isn't it? Yeah. Why is that not fo focus your fucking okay. focus? Oh well, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, no, so slam slam piece and the viper, they're the ones I want. So it's just whether I buy them as the kit or the just mod on its own. Yeah. Uh, but I'll wait till X buy for them. I think the slam piece I, is one of the ones I, I, I liked as well. Yeah. But over the last couple of years, I've bought a couple of purges and stuff like that. They haven't lasted long with me because I've just sold them on. Yeah. Um. When I got the Enforcer, I must have been using it about a month before I got my Claymore. And once I got my Claymore, the, the Forcer wasn't looked at. Yeah. So I just sold it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, to me, mech mods are just addictive. Which is stupid, really, when you think of what they are, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I consider when you, when you look at it as well, what what is it? Realistically speaking, what is it? It's just a metal tube. Yep. Mm. There's nothing in there. There's no. There's no technology. Mm -hmm. it, it is just a, 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 a metal tube with a button in the bottom. But the prices of the commander can yeah. be astronomical. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think the, the Viper kit is close to four hundred pound. I don't think I've ever seen that. As I said, I've not been following. A lot of stuff in the last year, so uh, yeah, you got Vi Viper kit nearly 400, and then the slam piece I like again, that's nearly 400 because it's one of the Hagerman engraved ones. Yeah, I don't think I would pay in that sort of money anymore for for a mech, not since uh, I fell, I fell well, out of love considering with the quality of the mech mods that are coming out of China. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you got, you got the likes of the um, mech life. An ambitions one, uh, that one you you're using, Stevie. I forget the name of it. Arkless. Yeah, Arkless. Yeah. Yep. You got the, the likes of the Times Vape stuff. Yeah. Sarah's Vape for that matter as well. Yeah. Sarah's yeah. Vape. You know, they're, they're pocket friendly mechs. Yeah. And yet they still perform as good as the high end stuff or mm -hmm. higher end stuff, if there is such a thing as high end. Yeah. Mm. But do you think it's just that it's it, it's it's down to the label. Personally, yeah, it's, it's, it's like paying for your, your branded clothing and all that lot. Yeah. It's like being back at school and somebody's coming in with the new Nike trainers on and you've yeah. got, and you've got the, the, the fast blacks on your feet, that kind of thing. Yeah. 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 I saw that I used to wear 99p Tesco plimsolls. Yeah, so I do. Still wear them. Who cares? Yeah. I never. 
I wore Nikes. Oh yeah, Zan's got his new Nikes on. Bastard. I don't wear anything but Nikes. Yeah, that's, that's right, Michelle. It is the Viper that I'm after more than anything. I just like the style of it. I mean, when you think about the likes of me, even the, the overpowered kit that, well, Jules bought me up for our wedding anniversary. Um, that is some piece of equipment for the price that you actually pay. Yeah, that, it's the RDA is amazing. The flavour out of that thing is, is is really really good, and it's a hell of a lot cheaper than a purge. Yeah, a hell of a lot cheaper mm. with that clutch style switch at the bottom of it as well. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean it, it, it's. I'm 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 at that stage now where I mean, it, I mean Zan knows the amount of stuff that we've got in here, and I've got mechs still sitting on a shelf up there that I haven't even touched yet. Yeah. I've took them out of the box, I've looked at them and went, and, oh, yep. so I'm sitting there like... Oh, no, that's the Viper kit. Oh. That's that, if I brighten it up a little bit again. That black and red one looks like it might be yeah, nice. Looks... Come on, brighten up. I have, okay. to be, I have to have a confession, I actually haven't used any of my mechs in about a year. There you go. Well, the other one's green. Yeah, it's uh, black and green. Oh. Well, there, there he goes, Zan. That'll match the car. You can get to fuck with that pushy drip tip, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It just it, Michelle, just an hour. We're just doing an hour. Michelle just wanting to know how long the show was on for. We're just doing an hour. Yeah. So um, I, I haven't really used any of my mics for about a year. Um, don't ask me why. I just I just went back to using normal mods and tanks and stuff. It was just easier for me and less hassle. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but think... Stevie got this for me last. Was it was last year, wasn't it? Yeah, it was last year. Um, and I haven't, I hadn't used it until during the week, and I put a drip it together, some coils and stuff like that that I found because I never had any met coils, and I found, I found some from somewhere. Um, so I put it on the. Don't know if you can see that fucking light and shocking. The B two B. B2B. Oh, right, yep. Um, the clone version is absolutely fucking stunning. I, I wouldn't have thought it was a clone. When, I, when if you look at it, do you know what I mean? There's no way in hell I would have thought this was a clone. I thought it would have been a real one. Uh, but it's heavy, do you know what I mean? So I had a wee vape on that the other night, which I quite enjoyed. So I'm going to have to get some, some more coils, but lower, because coils I had on it were out, like, 0.18 and I don't vape that high in a make. I like being down 0 0.1, 112. Yeah. That yeah. region. Yeah, you go to James Bond build that make like. Yep. But, <laughs> Only on a but I'm, enjoy though. I'm enjoying this double barrel that I just got. Yeah, I've, I've always liked to look at the double barrel. Um, I just never, <laughs> I never ever get around to buying one. Because they brought out the special edition one with the anchor and that on it. I thought, do you know what? That looks really, really nice. Yep. And then I I had to take a step back because I did say to myself, well, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. This is just getting fucking ridiculous. The shiny eye is, is starting to take over. Yep. Do you really need it? No. So I didn't buy it. But when I saw Zan's last night, I'm like, oh, you bastard. Yep. I mean, last last year alone, I must have bought 15 mechs. How many? 15 last year alone. Holy f Do you have a serious problem, son? Yeah. You mean the doctor about that? No. Yeah, but you kind of get cream for it or tablets. Oh. <laughs> yep, and the most expensive one I bought last year was the Purge Enforcer. Yeah. And that, that was an expo buy, and an expo with the Carnage RDA, it came out just over 400 quid. I bought mine at expo. Yeah. Yeah, I remember not, that. that, that not me, not me before. Yeah, I remember that. I was, where the fuck is that? Woof. Woof. Off. I'd lean up to it, it's what I wanted, and I was not fucking about that day. <clears throat> The second you were allowed in, I went straight there and I bought it. Yep, and I, I exactly think... the same thing. I can't remember. 
There's about 320 quid I got mine for. Okay. Yeah, 320, and then the Carnage RDA were, at the time was uh, £99. I paid 380 all in for mine. Really? Yeah, I got the Enforcer for... Three, three, 20, 330, and then I paid 50 quid for the Carnage. Fuck, mate, they charged me £99 for the Carnage. See, the, the, the thing is, I mean, you said that was it 380 you said there, Zan? What? Was it 380, 380 you said? I think so. I mean, you, th you think about it like, when Zan said that to me, I automatically went, fucking hell, that is a lot of money to pay for a mod and an RDA. Mm -hmm. But then I thought, no, wait a minute, it's not really if you think about it. Zan's bought a mech that, let's realistically speaking, guys, Nothing's going to fucking happen to it. No. Mm. It's not going to break. It's going to outlast all your fucking technological yeah. mods. I mean, I mean, they, I mean I've got, there's there's my G-Class, which is now fucked. I need to send this away to GA yeah. to see if we can do something with the board than this. Gales is fucked. You should not have, didn't have hers long. Yeah, I mean, there, there's there's 200, I mean, I didn't pay 200 quid for this, but there's there's a 200 pound mod that's now basically an expensive paperweight. So if you think about it that way, how many how many regulated mods would you buy throughout the year? Three or four? Mm. Five? And how long do how long would they realistically last? Some of them, well, there's Gail's got one sitting on her desk, isn't you? That IPV one that packed up. Yeah. She, she a, had that a week. a week and it was dead. Mm. You look at look, look at Chris when he got that the was it the Asmodus? Expo took it back to the hotel room that night and it wouldn't read one of the batteries. Yep. I mean, that, that's the kind of thing I suppose that could happen with regulated mods. It's electronics, they're, they're not going to last a lifetime. So you could you you could buy six, five, six mods, regulated mods a year, which would add up to the same price as you paid for that one purge. Mm -hmm. which, and what is going to last and what's going to stand up to the test of time, that lump of metal that you've got, not something with electronics on it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend over 120, 130 quid on a mod now with a chip. I just wouldn't, because you just don't know how long it's going to last. No, so, I mean, to be honest, the uh, regulated mods, though, maximum, they're only built to last six months. Yeah. Maximum. Yeah, once the warranty's out. Yeah. Quite often it's before the warranty's out. Yeah. And they never honour the warranty anyway. Uh, that's it. But do, 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 do you know what? One of, one of the regulated mods I love, and I think they're fucking bulletproof, is these little things. What's that one? Puma. The uh, Puma. All right. Okay, yeah. They're great little things. I mean, fucking take a licking and keep on ticking. But yeah, yeah I mean, it's it swings and roundabouts, isn't it? Do, do, do you buy half a dozen regulated mods throughout the year? Or do you buy one mech? But I like to see us guys, because the three us like were mechs anyways. Mm -hmm. So to a certain extent, it's a no-brainer for us. Um, well, for the likes of Zan and I, one mech a year. No, what did you say, mate? Eight? Last year was 15. 15. Fucking hell. <laughs> Jules would kill me. Yep. Last year, 15 mechs. I mean, in, to be honest, in total, I've got... 31 mech tubes at the moment. Plus, you gave quite a few, you donated quite a few to charity streams in that last year, didn't you? Yeah. And kudos to you, mate. That's... Yeah. Right, I've given some away to people, donated a couple to those charity streams. You know, I mean, if I'd still got all of them, I'd, I'd be close to 40. Fucking hell. Yeah. But then again, I suppose the only downside with the mechs is the batteries don't last long. No. So you're wanting a bit of what batteries you're using. Yeah, well, I suppose that, yeah. But you could end up wanting a bit with half a dozen packets of batteries in your pocket or in your bag or something like that. Yeah. 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 I mean, I must admit, I don't take mechs to work anymore. I oh, stick, to, I. stick to my regulated mod for work. Just carry one spare set of batteries with me and that's it. But if I'm on a day off, like if I'd gone out shopping or something today, I'd have taken that with me and I'd, I'd have had about six batteries in my pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck that. I'm not carrying that many batteries. 
I can't do either because my fucking trousers keep fucking fondling with the weight in my pockets. When I was using <laughs> mine, I just I tend to use mine in the house. I didn't really take them with me because they're not fucking car friendly either. No. No, certainly not. Certainly not. And, and that's... <laughs> that's why, I mean, I'm still drawn to it. I mean, I know Village is going, he's got the... T- and Thomas, I know <laughs> Thomas has got the, titan, the tank. I am still very, very tempted to buy the Titan kit. For the simple fact that it is car friendly, you don't need to fuck about. You're not. You, you fill that tank up, and that tank will fucking stay full for about a week. If you want a Titan mod stave, I've got one sitting on the shelf there. You can have. Okay. We'll do a wee deal for that one then. Well, I don't use it. Soon, and I'll speak to Thomas because Thomas is what rid his tank. <laughs> <laughs> But no, it's, 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 it's going back to swings and roundabouts. It, it, it's, tanks are great, as you say, Zan, for a mech isn't car friendly. Mm-hmm. Unless, unless you've got your wife with your partners with you or whatever, and you just hand them over. Going to fill that for me, drip that for me or whatever, and hand it back right. over. But what was that? Man, just ignore what <laughs> I do. I mean, I, I, I do it with Jules. Jules does it for me as well. You know, it, it's if, if my mech's running dry, she will. She, I'm, I'm, I'm not she, going to say drip on it because that just doesn't fucking sound right. Gail, Gail has so, done in the past, you know what I mean? When I've had one in the car and she's been with me or whatever, she's uh, just it up for me. Yeah, yeah. that's the better one. <laughs> I mean, don't worry, I used to take mechs to work with me. Used to take him at work, and I used to have the easy dripper on the windscreen of the coach. Yeah, you know, it's just what's the point? There's no point in it. I still use mine, even if I, I don't use it in the car. I still use this. Just put my juice in, just to put it into the tanks. Yeah. yeah I, I I can't take Max to work anymore because I caught one of my apprentices fucking it into my box because he thought it was a fucking punch. I've just got, to, just got to borrow your punch, Stevie, your brass punch. And he walked away and I went, wait a minute. That's too small for my brass punch. And I walked up and I said, fucking give me that. He said, what is it? I said, it's not my brass punch. I said, that's one of my fucking my mechanical mods. Well, I thought it was your brass punch. <laughs> That'd have been fucking good. Your, 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 your punch is broke. Fuck. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's one of the reasons why I don't take mechs to yeah. work anymore because apprentices just are the... Hmm. I'm not the brightest. Uh, uh, as, as I say, that setup's good enough for work. You know, I, I might put an RTA on it rather than a stock coil tank. But other than that, that'll be my work mod. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've, I've went back to my drag. Yeah. As my, as my, my daily beater at work, to be honest. Yeah, that's a good mod. Yeah. It's a very good board in that mod. Yeah. And it's one of those ones, I mean, they're, 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 they are kind of relatively cheap now to pick up, to be honest with you. They're not, they're not going to break the bank. Yep. And if you if you dent it, scratch it, you're not, you're not going to fucking go crying about it, are you really? Hmm. So, he was asking, so do you guys like tanks and RTAs? What about RDAs? Well, when I'm on a mech, yes, I use an RDA all day long. But... When I'm at work, it's either a stock coil tank or an RTA. Hmm. I preferably RTA over stock coil. Yeah. I don't use the RDAs other than on mix. Yeah. I don't, I don't use them. Don't get on... me wrong. Every now and again, I will, I will use a, an RDA on a regulated, but very, very rarely. I, very. I don't. I, I don't put them. I keep them for mix. I don't use them on RDAs. If I'm on a regulated, I'm on a an RTA, I'm on a tank. I don't yep. put drippers on other than anything other than the mech. I'll tell you something that I actually dragged out and I cleaned the other night. I roll my miser plus. Again. And I've been thoroughly enjoying this again. Good old tank. Yeah. I, I couldn't go on, mate. No, you were saying that last night. Mm, right? You couldn't go on, mate. Back. I mean, don't get me wrong, compared to some of the RTAs that are out now, that one's, the flavour's a little bit lacking on it. 
Not in this one, it fucking ain't. It's maybe just how I wicked it, I do, but this, I've got that, um, the vampire vape, gin, r- r- rhubarb and ginger in this. Yeah, yeah. And um, oh, the flavour's absolutely fucking mad. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, I, th- I thought, I, I bought this, oh God, way back, beginning, beginning of the last year, I think it was. And then when the, the FP came out, that gets shelved, and I was using the FP for a long, long time. Yep. But... We, I think we had, we had a bit of a discussion a few of us during the week. We're, we're, we're trying to get spare glasses now for the for the FP, and that they're, they're, they're as rare as rotten horse shite now. Yeah. And I thought, you know what? I don't want to take it out anymore because if I smash that glass, it's fucked. Mm-hmm. I'm only going to start using the FP in the house because at least if it drops, it's only going to drop onto the carpet. So I dragged that back out, cleaned it up, new coil in it, re-wicked it, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it again. And the flavour, I'm really, really, the, the, the flavour out of this is really good. It's really good. But no, I mean, I, I love Steam Crave tanks are fucking out of this world as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Um, the only thing is the deck is tiny. That is. For the size of the tank, the deck is fucking so, so is, small. It's really yeah. small. Yeah. I must admit, the, the one of Steam Crave's that I wasn't a fan of was the Glass V1. Yeah. But the V2's now get the... That's got the glass section and then center. This not a map. Yeah, it has, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've got the glass RDA sitting up there. Yeah. The flavour from that thing is immense. Yeah. But and I, I found the um, glass RTA V1 to be a very dry vape. Not getting dry hits off it, but the actual vape was very dry. Right. Didn't matter how I whipped it or anything, it the same vape all the time. And it would just leave my mouth dry. Right. But the Aroma Miser Plus, I had no problem with that, as I say, apart from the fact that I now find it lacking on flavour. Right. When, I, when I compare it to that, as those X, yeah. that has got loads more flavour on it than the, the Aroma Miser Plus for me. Yeah. But I mean, Jules is, um, she's actually, she's been testing the bulk. But I think she's actually put a review out for the bulk now. Um, the flavour out of that is good. Yeah. That That is a really good tank. I'm going to be... Um, See, I was, thinking, I was thinking about maybe switching over to that because of the issue with not being able to find FP glasses. Yeah. And yeah. I, used, I used nothing but my FP for the last nine months. Every yeah. day I use it and I broke two glasses on it. Yeah, I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I mean, I have, I've, I mean, I've still got my, the original acrylic one sitting up there, uh, and it's not cracked or anything. I mean, it, it still looks absolutely brand new. Um, I know a lot of people had issues with the acrylic. I know when Jules got when she got her the very first one, um, it was Chrissy's killer custard that she had, and the EBC's killer custard. Yeah, the acrylic just it, it, it was basically just like a mosaic. It just fucking. Cracked. It was micro fractures all the way right through it, but the one that I've got, it's, it's, it's still it's perfect. But I know Jules has broke two or three glasses, and it is easily done. We know we've, we've all done it ourselves. We've, we've broke mm-hmm. glasses in the past, but I am just that little bit wary now of taking that tank out because we've got. I think we've got four of them: two black and two silver. And pff, they break that glass. That's it. We as well just throwing it in the bin. Yeah. Because you can't get that they're, they are as rare as rocking horse shit now. And even speaking to Mark himself, he doesn't know where you can get them now. Um it's a shame because it is a good tank. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, for, for tank wise, it's that 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 bulk is um no, I'm impressed with that. I'm impressed with the bulk. A really good tank. Flavour wise and for cloud production, it's really, really good. Yeah. And it, it's a it's a Quite a simple deck, easy enough yeah. deck to work on. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, don't know why, but for some reason with that bulk, yeah. I've just played with bloody vapor lock on it. Yeah, you're seeing that me the other day. I don't know why. I've tried wicking it every which way I know how to do. I even, I even done my the old Kylin technique I used to do, where cutting the V in the cotton. Yeah. And pff, no, don't want to know. Every couple of puffs, I've got to undo the top cap to get some air, like lose the pressure. And then it'll wick. Right. 
Uh, I had that initially with the AFP mm-hmm. um, to a thin. A lot of people did. Yeah. Lot, but I, I never had that with the FP to start with. It was only when the um, so called V2 FP came out. That's when I started getting vapor lock on that one. All right. But the, the original one, that when it, when it first came out, and it was just the stainless steel, no issues at all with it. But I'll say with the bulk, every which way I wick it, vape lock. Hmm. Oh, well. I've got the V2 FP, um, and I've got vapor lock a couple of times on it. But it's not, it's not bad. But mm. I think I'm going to have to get one of those bulks and see how that is. Um, because no doubt at some point I'll break the fucking glass in that tank again. Yeah. Don't, don't get me wrong, the flavour time, from the bulk is bloody good. Every time it topples over, I go, oh shit, is it broke? Yep. Yeah, I know, it's one of those ones you need, you need to make sure you've put that on a, a mod that's got a wide base, it's not going to fucking topple over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Or a, bit, or, a, or a bit like the, 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 the crown kit, the weeble, you just need to breathe in that and that thing falls over. But no, guys, that's, God, that's, that's what we're nearly up, boys. Already, bloody hell, already. That's gone quick. Yeah, well, there, there's Gail, she said put a vape band on it. Yeah. And then put a vape band on the tank. See, I had none, but I dirty thought in my mind when I was talking to myself. Ah, you weren't going to say it, but I did. <laughs> should I say it? Should I not say it? Mm-hmm. Right, and Bill says he's found a site thanks to the GOATS review of the bulk that sells a lot of different glass tubes. Yeah, that's handy, you know? Yep. Yeah, if you send, it, yeah, if you send us a link for that. Yeah. I'd be interested put it, to Put it in the group know. if you can, Bill. I'd be interested to know if anyone else out there knows of other uh, bubble glasses that actually fit the FP. Because mm-hmm. yeah, I was wondering whether the bulk bubble glass would fit the FP. Because about a week or so, there was quite a few of us that were going through fucking Google and trying to see managements and stuff like that to see if this glass fitted it or that glass. And we I came up have- with a fucking big fat Xeno. Yeah, because I was sitting here that night taking things apart going, nope, yeah. nope. <laughs> but, uh, it'd be interesting to see what's coming out in the future, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, how things are going to go. Yeah. I was at uh, B&M yesterday. Uh, I was in having a look, doing something for uh, Jay. So Jay has me running up and down the aisle taking photographs of fucking Ghostbusters metal figs and stuff like that. Anyway, I come walking out of B&M here where we live and I'm walking back towards the car and there's three boys walking towards me. I think one boy must have been about eight years old, possibly nine. Second tallest boy must have been about 10, 11 at most, and the tallest one looked, what, th- 13? Yep. And to my fucking surprise, the oldest one took a vape on what looked like the smallest fucking mech mod I had ever seen in my life. Oh, one of them 18350 ones. Aye, uh, it was about that that size. And he <coughs> took a vape on it, then passed it to the fucking 10-year-old. Really? Yeah, and I stood, I was like, I was in shock for a few moments, and I was going to say, what the fuck are you doing, what age are you? But I was that much of a fucking shock and amazement of what I'd just seen. By the time... I went to say something, they had walked into the shop. At the end of the day, there's no point saying anything. What the fuck? Yep. Boy, all you you get would be a mouthful of abuse, though. Wow. I know, it's disgusting. 
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's <clears throat> don't get me wrong. I mean, I still see kids walking by because the, the local high school is not far from, from where we live. And every now and again, if, if I'm up at the, the shops and stuff, you get the kids coming out obviously at lunchtime. And don't get me wrong, you, you'll see everyone, well, not everyone, but every now and again, you'll see one of them walking down with a fag in their hand. But I've never seen one with a vape yet, to be honest with you. I've seen a couple of kids vaping. <clears throat> I've, I've, seen, I've, seen a couple. Seen a, I've seen a couple. Um... But older kids, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Um, not what I saw yesterday. Nah. Yeah. And that t- it, it took me by surprise. At the, at the end of the day, would, would you rather see them vaping or smoking? I wouldn't rather. I would rather see them that at that age not doing that, fucking anything. Exactly. Yeah. I was going to say at that age, I'd rather see them being kids. Eating sweeties and crisps. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. I mean, to be honest, people say they blame the parents. You you can't always blame the parents either, can you? Because what the kid does outside the house, the parents don't always know about. Mm, no. But it's just what other people say. Kids are going to want it, they're going to get it. Yeah. There's always a way that they can get it. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, it must be difficult. It must be more difficult now, though, because I can remember growing up. I used to steal my dad's fags. I think we all did it. Mm. But how can you steal your mum, your dad's vape? Yeah, I didn't actually start smoking until I was about eighteen or nineteen. You know, what? Yeah. I think I was about twelve. I think when I, I tried it when I was sixteen and stuff like that, and then it sort of fizzled out. And then when I was about eighteen or nineteen, is when I actually started smoking properly. Yep. Well, I mean, the first cigarette I ever smoked, I was six. Oh, well, I wasn't that young. Oh, no. And... Probably had my first drink then. I think I, when, I first, when I started smoking properly, I was probably about 10, 11. And by the, by the time I started vaping, I was on 80 a day. Fucking hell. So, you know, five years down the line, I've not had a not had a single fag, and I'm still vaping three milligram. You know, I, I, when I started vaping, I was on thirty six milligram. Yeah, but mate, how much money have you saved since you stopped smoking? Fuck all, because you keep buying make much. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no, society's just changing, isn't it? I mean, it, it's. I went for cigarettes to vaping and then give it another ten years down the line it was something else. Mm. Yeah. If kids are, if kids want to do it, they'll do it. It's, there's there's really no way of stopping them unless you just chop their bloody hands off. But yeah, that's illegal. Is it? Well, in this country, it is. Yeah. But, but, yeah so. I mean, drink wise, I didn't I didn't start drinking properly until I was what seventeen. I had my first drink when I was about thirty. 13, mm-hmm. I had dog school and bought a bottle of electric white Yep. from the shops down in the bottom of the, our uh, street. I used to, when I was growing up, I stayed in Kenneth's Head, south side of Glasgow, high rise flats. And I bought the electric white, drank it all. It was absolutely fucking steaming. <laughs> was in, went to bed. Mum came in from work at four o'clock. I was not it. I am not feeling well. <laughs> I think the first actual drink I ever had was when my dad used to make his own wine and I tried his elderflower wine. That stuff was nice. And then the first ever beer I had was a can of Tenant Super. Oh. And yeah, one can and I was flat on my back. Well, I kind of drink, I was I kind of drink that stuff. No, no I must admit, I think I, I was. Um... I was a bit older looking for my age, to be honest, and I was, I was in the pub drinking with my dad when I was 14 years of age. Yeah. And that was getting in with my father. That wasn't a case of, I was, I was doing it behind his back and like, I was actually going to the pub with my dad when I was 14. Yeah. I, can remember, I can remember sitting in, it was a pub in the, um, Mary Hill Road in Glasgow, a pub called The Pewter Pot, I can still remember the name of it, and I'm sitting, having a drink with my dad. I used to go and help my dad at a weekend, um, repairing cars and things like that. And I can remember sitting in this pub with a pint in my hand and one of my fucking teachers walked through the door and she just looked and went, hello. 
My dad went. <laughs> Who's that? This is it's a uh, French teacher. And my dad went, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Your father, if she says it, just tell her to phone me and I'll sort her out. I said, You'll do it for me, Dad. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And, uh, when I, it was when I was working for my dad, that's when I started getting a taste for a whiskey. We go to the pub for lunch, and my dad would always have a glass of whiskey with his lunch. And well, as you as you two both know, I've got three liters sitting down here next to me now. Yeah, but you're just you need to start putting it into a glass, Michael? Not necking it right out the bottle. It tastes better out the bottle. Fucking doesn't. Put it in a Glen Cairn glass. You need a Glen Cairn glass, honestly. Little, oh, little, 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 dash of, little dash of water in it to... I'm not watering whiskey down. No, you only put a little dash in it and it just it, it breaks that aroma up and you get the smell and... You need, uh, just you, need, you, need the pinky, you need to have the pinky out as well. Oh, I might be from London, but I ain't posh. Then you need to put the whiskey stones in it. Not your own stones, just the whiskey stones. <laughs> well, it might disinfect down there if I put my own stones in there. Oh, fuck, that's just too much. <laughs> <laughs> no tell, man, I don't drink. Oh, God. I do like my single malt. Yeah, I must admit, it, it's... Um... I was never a big whiskey drinker. Um, I had a bad experience in my late teens. I drank a bottle of... Wine. Even in Danny? Aye, Danny. Well um, done. Bought a, bought a bottle of blended. I think it was White Mackay or something like that. And mm -hmm. basically drank the whole bottle in the space of four hours. Yep. And then oh. decided, that, decided that I would take my, my mate's dog out for a walk. Yep. Uh, ten and a half stone bull mastiff. I lost the dog. Went back, okay. went, went back to his house with a lead, no dog. And then it was about ten minutes later. I redecorated his bathroom. And at that point, I hadn't. I, I, after that, I never touched whiskey up until about six, seven years ago. Um, and I thought, Do you know what? I'm getting fed up drinking vodka. To me, it was tasteless. Yep. And I had a couple of single malts. I mean, do you know what? This is really nice. But as long as I was sipping it, I just wasn't yeah. you know, necking it. And now, yeah, I, pre I prefer my single malts now. To yeah. Well, I mean, I've got a bottle of King's Barn there, which, as you can see, I've started, but not got anywhere through it yet. What else have I got? <laughs> this is a French single malt, which is different. Bit harsh. Put that, put that, did that say double masturbation on that? No, oh, sorry, okay. Maturation. Right. <laughs> well, I need to put my glasses on. I could have just thought, no way. Something <laughs> that bottle of whiskey. And then that one came through the post the other day. Nice. Which I haven't even opened that one yet. God, Bill Richards, he started drinking at six and started smoking at 11 ish. But then that drinks my other weakness. Me, yeah, you were saying that the other night. It's, I mean, love that stuff. Just a, like a honey wine, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, last week when I was on tour, I'd done a bottle of the, um, what they called a banquet mead. And it was laced with cloves. So it was like honey wine with cloves in it. Uh, a nice spicy bite to it. Sounds absolute fucking rotten if you ask me. I can't, I, I can't touch any clothes on it now. Fucking gives me the bulk. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd, like I remember I had an abscess. I got a tooth pulled. Yeah, one of my wisdom teeth pulled out and I took an abscess on it. And they gave me clothes to try and kind of calm it down. And just that that taste of clothes now, it just reminds me of that time. I just yeah. I can't. Well, oil of clothes. Yeah. I used to love odd fellow sweets when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And that was the same. It was oil of clothes, wasn't it? But no, I can't. I can't go anywhere near clothes anymore. No, no, fuck that, carry on. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Well, guys, that's that's five past six. We've, we've done over an hour. Bloody hell. So, you want to wrap, we'll, we'll wrap it up a bit there. Yeah, can do. Yeah, yeah. You go. Well, you want to say our goodbyes? Bye. Bye. <laughs> Show up and fucking speak from Zan, as per usual. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Cheers, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, nice to see you all. Uh, should see you all again in two weeks. And 
thanks to Stevie and thanks to Zan for sorting everything out and streaming and all that lot. So we will see you again in a fortnight. Over to that one. What one? On my screen, you're pointing to the wall. All oh, right, on my screen, I'm pointing to you. All right, okay. <laughs> so is that you, Zan? Just bye. 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 All right, okay. <laughs> Well, thanks, guys. Thanks very much for joining us uh, on our, our, our first show. Um, I hope we didn't rabble on too much. If we did, tough shit, because this is what you're getting every two weeks. We don't we don't care. Um, but, yeah, as I say, th- thank you very much for joining us. And a big thank you to my co-hosts, Mike and Zan, who came out of retirement for us to join us. Um, I and why I've done that. <laughs> Hurry up. It's because you love us. <laughs> but anyway, thanks again, guys. Uh, and as Mike said, yeah, we'll see you in two weeks' time. And if you haven't done it already, please go over and sub to Mike's Mex Reviews channel and to Zan's Funko Pop Geek channel if you're into your, your pops. He puts out some cracking reviews on these pops and some of these things are absolutely stunning. Uh, I don't want to say anything more about it because it's all his fault because the top of this fucking room is full of the bloody things. Yep, and anyway, it's not my stop fault. to get me hooked on them as well. But anyway, guys, again, thanks very much for joining us and we will see you in two weeks' time. Yep. Bye, all. Thanks, everyone. Go. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.